Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Munch bring you guys another video. Guys, in today's video, we're going to help you guys hit your shots because I know in this game, hitting your shots is everything. Of course, any shooter game, you have to have good accuracy. So I'm here to give you guys the best tips that I can to make sure that you're actually hitting your shots and your aim gets a little bit better than what it was before you watch this video. So sit back, guys, relax, soak in all the information. And if you guys please can, give this video a thumbs up. That means the world to me. If any of this information helps you out at all, give the video a thumbs up. It means the world to me. Hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the video. Now before we start the actual video guys, I want you guys to have a chance to win free V-Bucks. Now it's easy, all you gotta do is give this video a thumbs up, go down in the description and click on that link for the giveaway. Guys, it's a 13,500 V-Buck giveaway, it's a massive giveaway that me and a couple other YouTubers are doing. The more entries you have, the better chance you have of winning. Again, give this video a thumbs up, go down in the description and enter in the giveaway. But now that we have that out of the way and you guys actually have a chance to earn some free V-Bucks, let's cover the basics of hitting your shots. Like CDN says on his stream, Even even when I miss my shots, I hit my shots, kid. Even when I miss my shots, I hit my shots, kid. We're gonna show you guys how you hit your shots and actually how you melt these kids and actually have good accuracy in the game. So starting off, number one thing we want to talk to you guys about is your sensitivity. Now I know a lot of people out there are like, yo, your sensitivity, of course that, that matters, but why does it matter in hitting your shots? Now in this game, there's four different sensitivities that you guys can have. You can have your aim down sight sensitivity, you have your normal sensitivity, you have your scope sensitivity, and then you have your mouse sensitivity. So there's so many different sensitivities in this game and we're going to cover basically each one of those so you guys know exactly what you need to change. All right, guys, so if you go to your settings, you can see all the different sensitivities that you have in the game. Now, if you guys play on a controller and not mouse and keyboard, don't worry about mouse sensitivity and don't worry about mouse aim down sight. So basically everything that's turned off, don't worry about these three items right here. This is just for controller people only. We're only gonna worry about these four items right here. So we, we have the wireless controller sensitivity X and Y. Now what this is, is this is the, up and, the left and right and the up and down. That's what these two control. Now this is more for like your hip fire. So if you have a shotgun, and you're sitting there trying to hit fire your shot, I suggest playing on a lower sensitivity, like four. Because when you're on a lower sensitivity, it's quicker to move your mouse. Now, when you're running up to somebody, you're not really gonna wanna play on 10, because when you're playing on 10, looking left and right is going to be extremely hard. The lower sensitivity you have, the better it is to hit your hip fire shot. Now, I know in one of my other videos, I said play on a higher sensitivity, but that's just to cover building. If you guys wanna build quicker, you need to have a higher sensitivity. But if you wanna hit your shots and have a good shot, rather than being able to build, play on a lower sensitivity. I suggest four, four. That's the standard that they give you on automatically when you start. Now the reason the 4-4 is good is because it's your hip fire shot. So when you're sitting there trying to shoot somebody with a hip fire, you're able to actually move, your, you control it a lot more. The higher it is, the harder it is to control it. So I think about a four or a five, that's a good a hip fire shot a sensitivity. But again, you guys gotta play with it and see what you're best at. You gotta see exactly what you play best at. I suggest 5-5, five, five, playing on that, starting off with that and then working from there. If it's too high, drop down. If it's too slow and you're actually hitting your shotgun shot, Go ahead and go up higher, but if it's still perfect where you can actually move left and right and hit your shotgun shots, every shot has to be hit. Keep it at 5-5. Five, 4-4 five. Four, four is alright, but the thing that sucks about having a lower sensitivity, again, it's whenever you're getting shot from behind or anything and you have to turn on someone or someone jumps over your head and you have to turn around. When you play on a lower sensitivity, it's going to be hard to actually hit your shots. But again, this video is just covering being able to hit your shots the best you can. So if you're sitting there with an AR and someone's in the same room as you and you got to jump and hit fire your ARs, it's going to be a lot easier to hit those shots if you're playing on like a 4-4 rather than a 6-6. So I suggest playing low, seeing how it is, and then moving up within the ranks. But now that we have that out of the way, let's cover the wireless controller aim down sight sensitivity. Now this is when you have a gun and you're trying to shoot somebody. Now guys, some people like having it extremely high, but I'm gonna tell you now, if you have this high, you're not gonna hit your shots. The lower, the better. That's with any type of sensitivity when you're trying to hit your shots because when you have it too high um, and someone's running, this is now when you're aiming down your sights and looking down your sights or actually shooting people looking down your sights. So when it's high like this and somebody is really far away, you're gonna have to have very slight movement in your right analog stick. And when I say very slight, I mean the slightest movement will make your character move a lot. So that's why when you have it high like that, it's gonna be a lot harder. The lower you raise it, the less movement to the right analog stick you're gonna need to have. So if someone is at, like if we're at 0.31 and someone's far away and I'm trying to shoot them long range, it's gonna be a little bit easier because I can have a little bit more wiggle room where I don't have to be so gentle on the right analog stick. I can move it here and there but I suggest a 0.42 is the best sensitivity when you're trying to hit your shots because one it's 
just fast enough to where if someone's running, you can keep up with them running. And two, it's not too fast where the point where it's hard to actually move your right thumbstick to actually hit your shots. Now guys, the right thumbstick is everything when it comes to hitting your shots. Now we're gonna talk about your scope sensitivity. This is with a scoped AR or a sniper rifle. A lot of people I've been seeing, if you wanna hit your trick shots and stuff like that, you can play on a high sensitivity, but it's gonna be a little bit harder. Again, everything when it comes to shooting relies on how much control you have over your character. So the lower the sensitivity, the easier it is to control. Now that we have all your sensitivity out the way and stuff like that, we're gonna talk about hitting your shotgun shots. Now this is a little difficult, but for this you have to lead your shots, you guys. Sometimes when you have a person in a certain location, let them walk to the location that your reticles are on. Have your reticles in front of them a little bit and have them walk into the location, or if you're falling from a height, it's okay to aim above them, jump on top of them, and then let the reticle fall down onto them. It's not all about moving your right thumbstick, it's also about letting your character fall into the right position. You guys gotta remember that. Now let me show you an example of exactly what what I mean. All right, you guys, now what I mean by letting your controller do it all is not really moving your right thumbstick too much when it comes to your shotgun fights. Now, your shotgun fight, your right thumbstick does matter a little bit, but a lot of the good people, they let their controller do their own thing. Like, say this this is a, a enemy right here. Instead of moving to the right to hit him, to shoot him like this, all I have to do is do this and move my left analog stick to move to it. I jump in the way and then instead of like, like say this mushroom's an enemy, instead of jumping, looking left to shoot like that because it's harder, I'll jump and I'll, I'll move my left stick. So I'll move my body left until my body lines up with it. So that way you're not moving your right thumbstick too much. You're more letting your, your body movement go to it exactly. Okay, so say for instance this bush and somebody, instead of having to look up, all I have to do is jump and it'll automatically go up to the person. That's a lot quicker than having to go up and actually hit it. Cause sometimes you'll look up and you'll look up too high or you'll look up and it's not enough. So just take that extra time to jump and you'll hit your shot. And also when you're jumping and stuff like that, it makes it harder for the enemy to hit you. So it's okay to look down on a person as long as you jump and let it go up towards the enemy. For instance, like this. I let my character do everything for me. I didn't have to move my right analog stick at all. If you guys notice in that gameplay or that clip right there, I didn't move at all like this. I literally jumped up and let it line up. And then the second I saw it lined up, I took the shot. And that's exactly what I mean by letting your character line up his shot on his own and taking it. The next thing that I wanna cover is the size of your TV, the reticles and stuff like that. Now guys, I know a lot of you guys playing this game, you play on a big TV or a 40 inch TV or a 30 plus inch TV. If you're playing on a TV, that high you're gonna have a delay in your controller so you're gonna have a millisecond like there's a response time to every single TV and that's why a lot of the pros play on monitors because it's like a one millisecond response time so the second you move your analog stick to the right it will actually move to the right but some people play on a bigger TV that has like a two two millisecond response time or three or even higher this can actually make your shots a little bit worse so if you guys are playing on a big TV and you wonder why you're not hitting your shots or it's harder to get kills in this game I promise you 90% of the reason is because of the TV you're playing on is a lot bigger. If you move to a monitor or something smaller, you're gonna actually have a better shot. I know, it, I don't want you to invest money into a TV or a monitor or anything like that, but if you wanna get good at the game or you wanna be a serious gamer, invest in a smaller TV like a monitor or something like that and the millisecond time is going to be 100 times better. I promise you guys, this is gonna help out a lot. Now I know a lot of you guys are like, dang, I don't wanna have to spend money. So this is just a suggestion for those of you guys out there that are thinking about getting a new TV or a new gaming setup. Guys, get a smaller monitor. The smaller the better. I know a lot of people like playing on like big 4K TVs because it's like, oh my god, the graphics are amazing. When you're trying to be a good gamer at a competitive gaming level, Ninja, CDN the third, Summit, all these people play on a monitor, a smaller TV or a smaller computer monitor that has a better response time on it. All right, you guys, now we're gonna cover how to hit your AR shots from long range or up close. Now, when you're in an up close fight, like basically you two in the same room or the same house, hip firing is everything and that's why having a lower sensitivity is gonna be good. You do not really wanna sit down and shoot the person in the room because they're in the same room as you. They probably have a shotgun. You wanna jump all over the place and hip fire your shots. I know this is gonna take time and practice you guys are gonna work on that throughout the game but if you want to be able to hit your long range AR shots I suggest instead of holding R2 and letting the button spam your full automatic spam tap the trigger guys tap your gun it's gonna can a lot of the shots are actually gonna connect a lot better than just holding the trigger so that's one tip and then the second tip is crouching when you shoot your shots now if you crouch it makes your your little target your reticle a little bit smaller and more accurate so if you crouch it definitely helps out a lot more but I suggest only crouching if you're behind the person if you're in front of the person 
person you guys are looking at each other building is the number one key build get high ground have base or cover and then you can crouch and shoot them but never just face to face crouch and shoot somebody because they're gonna of course gun you down you're gonna want to have one protection or two shoot them from behind and then crouch so that way you can hit your shots now for those of you guys out there that want to learn how to hit your sniper shots stay tuned subscribe to the channel because I actually am gonna make a whole separate video on how to snipe better in the game because sniping is on another level than any of this other stuff so guys last thing we're gonna talk about is in the settings basically you want to turn off your vibration because one your controller vibrating can throw you off a little bit just any type of non vibration or things like that distractions can help you focus more on the game so turn off vibration and turn on aim assist i know a lot of you guys already have aim assist on now what this does is it lets you slightly it slightly locks onto a person but it's not like it'll automatically lock on with aimbot it slightly moves to a location that a person is so that way when you have your right thumbstick you barely are going to have to move it with aim assist on because aim assist is going to do 20% of the work and then you're gonna do the rest of the 80% so you got to move towards the person but let aim assist guide you let watch the screen and see where the aim assist is taking you and follow it you guys now besides that everything else really matters on building so all everything in the settings doesn't really matter I would play on 60 FPS the brightness in the game I would turn it up to a 0.70 because the brightness can help seeing people with shadows and stuff like that so in my opinion brightness can help you a little bit everything else besides that is a free ball you guys audio of course you want to have good audio so that way you can hear people coming up on you but that has nothing to do with your shots but guys hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys please can give this video a thumbs up i appreciate that more than anything share this video with your friends that actually need to get better at the game i'm telling you i have a few friends that just they cannot shoot man they just do not have good map knowledge they do not know what to do so they're definitely going to watch these videos and get better so share this video with your friends that suck and you want them to get better with you as well but hope you guys enjoyed it. i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video peace